today we're going to be working on the Civic and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adjusting the valves with just a few simple tools to get the job done and uh, we're going to be using these to adjust all 16. Hopefully our little ticking noise goes away and uh, yeah, so let's jump straight into it. Um, pretty much all you're going to need is, um, it's going to be pretty hard to do it without one of these little specialty tools. Um, this one is made by Powerbuilt. The part number is 648827. Um, this one's going to help you break them loose, tighten and loosen them. And also what I bought is I ended up buying some uh, Blue Point feeler gauges so that um, we can adjust it. All right, so what we're um, going to start with is um, removing the spark plug cover. We're going to pull out the uh, plug wires. We're going to remove the spark plugs so the motor can crank uh, easier and then we're going to remove the valve cover. Okay, so on this one, what we're doing is um, we're checking the valve lash on cylinder number three. And if you can see this, this is the size that you need to be using, the, the 0 0.008. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna check right up in here, right up in here. And you can see this one is too tight, won't even go in. And you're going right under the lobe. You're not doing the center. The center, don't don't worry about the VTEC. What you're doing is you're worrying about the sides. In this one, my filler gauge won't even go in. It's too tight. And on this one, not as tight as the other side, but that one needs to be just a little bit more loose. So let's get up in there and uh, adjust that one. The next one will be cylinder four, since the firing art is 1342. So we're going to crank the motor over. And we should be right there. And the way that you can tell that where you need to be is if you look at cylinder four, I don't know how well you can see this, but you can see that the, uh, the lobe it's uh, right up at the ridge here. So it's pointing up right up at the ridge. Let's see if I can get a better view for you guys. See, it's pointing up right at the ridge. That's how you know. See, the other ones aren't gonna be pointing up to the ridge yet since they're not at TDC. So we're gonna adjust these. And looking at these exhaust ones, This one's good. And this one's uh, not too bad. These are pretty good. I think I might just leave these alone how they are because they're not too bad. So let's check the exhaust, or I'm sorry, the intake side. And the intake ones, these are too tight. Yeah, definitely too tight. Can't even get it in there. What I'm trying to do is fit them down into this little area. See, it won't go in. So let's loosen those up and work on those. Alright, so now that we have that in there.
do the exhaust side. Oh, the exhaust side actually looks good on this one. So let's go back to our, like I said, these are good. It was a little tight, but I'll leave it alone. So now our next cylinder is cylinder two. And remember that these motors turn counterclockwise. check it out but so far it's much quieter that you could do on this any gasket you can do on this from from honda i replaced i never did the valve lash on it because i was waiting for the tool for snap on oh boy never came through so i had to go through amazon and pick one up it's only like 15 dollars compared to the 100 dollars one by snap on and it does the job same same you know difference only difference is that you don't have warranty but um let's go take it around for a spin uh once it's warmed up and um and yeah let's, let's see what it Let's see what it do. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the video. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Um, if you know anybody else that's in Hondas or anything, um, you know, share my page. I'm gonna be updating like most, it's all Honda content. That's all I know, you know? So um, yeah, send it to your friends. Let them know, let your grandma know, anybody. All right, thanks man. I'll see you on the next one. Wow.